Today is American Eagle Day, and to celebrate, one of the most famous bald eagles in America here in the studio. Challenger the Eagle, along with Laura Sturbins from the American Eagle Foundation, joining Janice live. Good morning, Janice. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Laura. Hi. And hi, Challenger. How is Challenger doing? He's doing excellent. He loves New York City. Yeah. You told me I can't use a lot of big gestures, right? Why is that? Um, he associates hand with the food, um, food with your hand, so okay. he just, you don't want to make sure he doesn't bite you. Tell <laughs> us about American Eagle Day. Yeah. So American Eagle Day um, celebrates the bald eagle. It's a symbolism of our country, mm -hmm. and also it's recovery to America's skies. And um, in 2020, we're going to utilize American Eagle Day to do a nationwide habitat cleanup to keep these guys safe out there in the wild mm -hmm. and also other wildlife as well. You told me they're not endangered anymore. They are not. They have been off the endangered species list since 2007, and they actually are thriving. They've made quite a comeback. Give me special characteristics of this beautiful bird. Uh, special characteristics of this particular bird is obviously the white head and mm -hmm. white tail. Um, and it's been our nation's living symbol since 1782. Um, they're just a symbol of strength and as a and challenge right now is very comfortable so this is a good thing he likes you Janice oh I like it oh. uh, and you look very comfortable how long have you been doing this for I've been handling him for about 13 years mm -hmm. um, I've been in the Eagle business for a long time I was kind of born into it um, but it's a passion of mine and it's, a, it's a, a, a blessing to be able to educate people about this majestic species and how they can help them how many events so. are you doing with Challenger? Um, Challenger's actually retired right now. Oh, so he's not going to be doing any more flights, but he is continuing to travel coast to coast mm -hmm. to educate um, people in our younger generations. 25 year career. 25 year career. Yeah, he's 30 this year. He oh turned my gosh. 30. What is usually the lifespan? Um, he could live up to be 50 in captivity. In the mm -hmm. wild, it's maybe about 25. And where do we see them the most? Um, they're all over the United States, but Florida has the most in Minnesota right now. So. A great place for him to retire is Florida. Absolutely. Well, he likes Tennessee, I think. He's going <laughs> to stay there for a while. But, uh, but we would love for all of um, the Americans and our younger generations to join us next year. Visit AmericanEagleDay.org um, to learn more about our river cleanup that we really would love people to participate in. I love it. I love that it's American Eagle Day today. Yes, it's a great uh, day. What a great way to celebrate. Thank you, Challenger. I hope we can take some selfies. Does he do selfies? Yeah, he loves selfies. Oh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> it's very hard for me not to use big gestures. <laughs> it is hard. The, we're, oh, is that Bless a sneeze? Bless you. Bless I'm you. A sneeze. Oh. Sometimes we do yeah. that on television. Bless you, Challenger. Bless you. Janice, I love that you suggested that he could go to Florida to retire. So are you suggesting that uh, Challenger is a snowbird? Oh, perhaps. Oh. Very nicely oh. done. Very good, Steve. Good. I think Challenger is laughing inside okay <laughs> thank you very much we're not i know i love that we know that, that he loves joke. florida he loves new york <laughs>